Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I want to talk about why exercise variety is not needed. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to find out when the big hairy ugly dude has published a video. I'd appreciate it. All right, exercise variety. It's not needed. This will likely trigger a few of you. I'm sure I'm going to get some hate comments. Let it flow because I'm right and I don't care. Exercise variety is needed. Now let me caveat this. This is not a call to minimalism. This is not a call to just doing two exercises per body part. What it is, is a video that goes against the notion that you need to switch up exercises to reignite gains and that all these little exercise variations need to be added in at some point to hit all these different areas of the body and reignite gains and all this kind of stuff. Look, the core exercises you have for a body part, doesn't matter how many they are, doesn't matter which ones they are really, uh, whatever ones you like. Maybe you like incline bench press, maybe you like incline dumbbell bench press, maybe even like decline bench press, doesn't really matter. For me, I'm bench press, I like uh, flat bench, I like dumbbell. I've done inclines over the years, both variations. I've done some dips over the years. Uh, I've done push-ups, pack deck, flies, um, all, all the staples, right? All the staples, some guillotine presses, close grip bench presses, you name it, I have done it. Um, those staples, whatever staples you have, and here's the point of this video, you can ride those staples till the end, okay, till the end, as long as you are applying progressive overload over, over time, listening your body and evolving your program based on needs. Now, what does evolving your program mean? All right, you get on a bench press program that's three by five and you knock it out and you're like, man, I would prefer more volume. This just doesn't feel good to me. So you move it to three by eight or three by 10, or maybe you do five reps on the first set and then you drop the weight and do 10 reps on the second set and drop the weight and do something radical like 20 reps on the third set. That's evolving your training based on specific needs or likes or what you like doing in the gym. The belief that we need to mix things up to reignite gains and bring in all kinds of crazy extra exercises is nonsense and here is why. Uh, most people don't understand the muscle building process for naturals and this, this goes for even a lot of the old school information or a lot of the new school information from bodybuilders or lifters who simply don't understand what the heck uh, happens with human physiology. When you start lifting, you're going to make a lot of progress. This is newbie gains. Strength is packed on. Muscle is packed on. You feel like a freak in the gym. Everything's going well. And then things start to slow naturally. Things just start to slow naturally. And people start to panic. Even experienced lifters start to panic. And even experienced bodybuilders or competitive bodybuilders start to panic because they don't understand human physiology. When you start, to, when things start to slow, that doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. That doesn't need you, you need to get all excited and add in all new exercises to reignite gains because there's no need to reignite, reignite gains. You're still making gains. You just have unreasonable expectations, or in this case, the coach or the advocate of adding exercises doesn't know what the heck he's talking about. What you need to do is continue to monitor progress. Continue to write down, continue to see that, okay, I'm adding reps to a, a lift. I'm slowly adding weight to a lift. There's very, very few cases where somebody doesn't add reps or weight to a, a, a major compound movement over the course of four to six months. Very rare, very, it, it doesn't happen very often. The rate of progress is going to slow dramatically the more strength, the more muscle you pack on. This is not a plateau. This is not a call to abandon what you're doing. In fact, you just need to really just continue what you're doing with the exercises you're doing and the progressive overload you're doing. And again, and I'm going to say this, this is for the average lifter who's not looking to compete in powerlifting. 
over time, there can be some, some value if you want to compete in powerlifting and changing up rep schemes and maybe adding in some new exercises. There can be value in that for powerlifting. But for 99% of us that just want the maximum amount of muscle mass, you need to understand that progress slows over time. You need to be aware of what progress you're actually making. So get scientific about it. And don't freaking panic when stuff slows down. You don't need to reignite gains. All you need to really do is be consistent, take care of your body, stay on the same path you're on, and you're going to be okay. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.